Guys, welcome back to another AJWF and we've got a box here in the mail from the guys at Real Wrestling. They want to do us a few more reviews, so it'll be our pleasure, guys. What we'll do, in fact, there's three in here. Uh, there's two elites, which are Greatest Hits elites. It is The Undertaker and Batista, or Blue Batista as you know with this attire. So yeah, on their channel, on this channel, we're going to get these open. So I'm not a massive Undertaker fan, guys, but we'll have a look at that. Ty Mellows fell over, look. The Undertaker's put a curse on her. But yeah, we're we'll gonna get into these. Which one should we look at now? Hmm. Maybe Undertaker, Blue Tista, Hollywood Star, Legend. Oh, I don't know. We'll get one of these open in a minute and we'll get some pictures. But the other one we'll do on the Real Wrestling channel, so make sure to check them out. And um, what is in this wrapped up one? Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. It is, it's a Scarlet Basic. Um, I was cheeky. I said to them, oh yeah, it's cool doing reviews. Um, if you have anything lying around for the old women's collection, feel free to throw it in. Well, we've got one. It is Scarlet. I think I've got this, but I'll treasure it anyway, because, you know, Scarlet's cool. I don't think she, she's not really been pushed enough in WWE yet, but yeah, I think of her pre-WWE and she was brilliant. So let's hope eventually she's the star she deserves to be. Anyway, I'm going to crack one of these open. We'll get some pictures. Thank you very much. So we've chosen for the Real Wrestling YouTube channel, The Undertaker to give a quick unboxing. And I know you guys, well, some of you, like the boxers. So here we are, giving it a spin. You can enjoy the packaging. Back in a minute. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the Burnt Fiend's up to, but he's here with The Undertaker. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing ripped open and we can see it in a bit more detail. Okay, so The Undertaker is released from the plastic cell. Let's give him a 360. It is typical Undertaker attire, so there's not a lot to it. It's black and red themed. Now it's got the Taker logo on the legs. It's also got the Taker logo on the chest piece. And this figure does come with the uh, Tag Team Championship as well as interchangeable hands. Now the face scan on this one, uh, I hate to admit it, but I do kind of like it. The old goatee beard of The Undertaker. The tattoos, the detail is there. I have got to say, on first impressions, the attire does not blow me away, but the face scan, again, it is really, really good. And the interchangeable hands, well, you can do the typical Undertaker classic pose, so that's all good. I just wish it came with a sticky out tongue face, because, you know, that would have completed the look, so to speak. But yeah, let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. Now, this figure is a WWE Elite Greatest Hits series, and The Undertaker, and I think this is, whoa, I'm not the big Undertaker fan, but is it 1999-ish? And it does come with the Tag Team Championships, which he held, as well as the interchangeable hands, as mentioned. And we've still got the Burnt Fiend hanging around, so not sure what's going off there. Let me grab some shots of this Undertaker figure from all angles, just so you can see if it's worth adding to your collection or not. I've got to say, this Undertaker figure, although it is kind of plain-ish, it's also typical Undertaker, isn't it? And if you want him in something other than all black, add a bit of red trim like this one to your collection. Now, the chest piece, I feel like it could stand out a bit more. You really don't notice the Taker symbol unless the light hits it. The face scan, though, that is the saving grace. For me, it really looks like the Undertaker, which it should do. And yeah, I can't fault this one. Now guys, it looks like the Burnt Fiend is after that tag team title. Will The Undertaker stand for that? Let's find out. Can you believe a tombstone on The Fiend? Hang on, The Fiend is back up. This isn't over. Yep. 
you've got to love a bit of a fig fight, right? All over that tag team title. And let me grab a close-up of that tag team title because it's typical elite style, but yeah, it's a good one to add to your collection. Guys, I'm back. Thank you so much, the Real Wrestling guys. I can't thank them enough for sending them over for us to do a review. Till next time, keep on collecting and peace out.